Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a couple of journals that are currently in the shop and I just wanted to show those to you. There are pictures there, but it's so hard to show everything. I love to collect cat ephemera and fabric and images. I'm definitely a cat person. So is Jason uh, and we, between us and my daughter, we have four cats. So this is basically a writing journal that has a lot of cat stuff. You can see the charms. Um, things that cats love. There's a little, actually a cat head there, and a button, a little dragonfly, a bead, and a feather. We know that cats love to watch birds. Uh, this heavy cord that binds the, the pages in, um, these, you could probably untie this if you wanted to, but, and you know, and take the charms off. I, I think they're really cute on the outside. This charm that is sewn onto the front says love, and there's some vintage lace there. It ties with these velvet ribbons on either side. They're just stitched into place. In the front, there are actually a couple of pockets and just some different images. There's an envelope, cards that you can write in, and there's one of the guinea feathers from my mom's little farm where she has animals and plants and keeps everything looking amazing. There's a little card with the, that's a vintage card, the little girl holding the kittens and there's a big, one. Of, it's a baby cat it looks like, but it's definitely gonna be a big cat, a tiger. And you know, house cats sometimes act like they think they're big tigers, at least ours do when they bow up as they say and come at each other. Um, there's a, a pretty card and I've just paper clipped different images. There's a big paper clip there. Beautiful cat laying on the crocheted tablecloth or afghan. And I put some washi tape on the back here that's got cats on it. Some of my favorite washi tape. And you can see there are just pieces of paper with cats and different things. I won't pull that off. Uh, all of the pages in here have been tea stained and I've just tucked, I love that, cards in. This is a really old book page. Um, three little kittens and I have, what is, um, masking tape. I have taped some pages together to be able to fold and have them be upright. There's some wallpaper with cat theme and Mr. Sampson Cat, that's from an old storybook. There's another card. You can see there's a lot of space in here for writing, and I've just paper clipped different bits of uh, ephemera and cards and things like that. And that's from a really old book. More uh, tea stained paper. This is a foreign language page. I put that in because it's got the word for cat. It, Nico, is that how you say that? Um, Japanese. Sandra, do you know? Am I saying that right, Nico? Okay, and I love this image of the cat looking out at the chickadee. And that's from a calendar. So, of course, this side's upside down, but you can journal on that, art journal, you know, glue something onto it. I love that image. And there's an old book page that I taped around the edge and put that in. There's a dictionary page that has the ocelot and a little envelope. You could put things in here and another vintage card and that gives you space to write. What did that quote say? A sunny heart gathers plenty of friends. So sweet. And again, just pieces of cards and stationery and envelopes. I love this. So this is a card that has an actual photograph on it. Looks like, I'm not sure what the name is on that. From 2000, I guess. So that's just sitting in there. And this is from an old encyclopedia. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful jaguars in a tree. And that's the actual book page. It's really old. Um, I love the way this journal turned out. Lots of space for writing, again, or art journaling, whatever you want to do. You can grunge it up even more. 
there is another um, of one of those book pages, or at least you're seeing the other side of it. And there's little kitty cats here. That's a, from an old children's book. More of the wallpaper. And then that's part of that vintage book. You can see a child colored in that probably long ago. There's a playing card with a cat. And then the pocket in the back, just a couple more cards for you to write on or jot things down. And then on the back is my stamp. There's part of an old quilt here. This one feels really good to hold. Um, there's more than one layer of fabric. You can see that we've got this sort of gray fabric and then the piece of, um, that's like quilting fabric with the cat on it. And piece of old quilt. You know, anytime I do laundry, I have to make sure that I don't leave it where the cats can get in it. They love to get on linens. If I wash a quilt and fold it up and put it on the bed, they are right on it. And um, I just love the different layers of fabric. I feel like that, that ties in with the cat theme. So that one is currently in the shop and ready to go out. I love this velvet ribbon that it ties with. And then this is, um, it feels good to hold as well. It's got the vintage quilt cover that's really old. And then that's part of another old linen on top. I pressed that today to get all the wrinkles out and sewed that into place. The charms on the outside, we've got some beautiful glass beads. One, two, three, four, six beads. And they're spaced, you know, two, two, and two. And then again, that's tied with some velvet ribbon. And then when you get inside, this is a pocket, and I actually used another piece of the quilt, but I put this beautiful worn side from the feed bag. Now, this is one of my favorite book pages I have ever seen. Uh, the book that it came from was called Expressive Photography, and the book was printed in the 70s, and I believe this photograph at the time was said to have been like 30 or 40 years old so I know that's from an older time I mean look at the way the lady is dressed and just this beautiful slender woman in her ballet shoes so that's in the very front and uh, then we and that's more from that same book then we have a piece of wallpaper and this just has a lot of really beautiful tea stained pages for you to just do your writing your art there's another piece of wallpaper. And this is nice paper. It's not watercolor paper. It's not that heavy, but um, it has a nice weight to it. You can tell how, how beautifully that tea stained. There's an old dictionary page with the birds, and then a music page. And I've taped two together so that they can be upright. And then there is a map page got kind of a deep sort of a pocket there where you could tuck some things in and then the center is this beautiful wallpaper page and it feels textured I love this wallpaper so much and so just going in the other direction it's just a beautiful journal And that looks like some sort of door. And then on the back, we have this hotel. And again, there's a pocket that's from that vintage linen. And there's my stamp on the back. So um, that is ready to go and in the shop. I also listed a few more bracelets today and a really pretty vintage necklace. Um, even if you just bought it for the beads, it's just so beautiful. And I think, I think that's all the inventory for today. And I will be back really soon with some more journaling and stuff. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.